glad to see you all again here in another episode of the Health Optimizing Physical Education intended for grade 11 and grade 12. I am Teacher Justin from Just Dada Makapagal High School and I will be with you today as we explore another engaging physical activity that will help us achieve our fitness goals. But before that, let's have a recap of our previous discussion. Do you still remember the benefits of a 30 to 60 minute moderate to vigorous physical activity in a day? Yes, it saves us from having a sedentary behavior that may lead to the development of several diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. Children, adolescents, and adults of all ages need regular physical activity. Physical activity promotes good health and you should stay active throughout all stages of your life regardless of your body type or BMI. Last week, we discussed the training principles to achieve and maintain your desired health-related fitness level. Do you still remember the key principles when planning a fitness program? Brilliant! Let us remember the acronym SPORT and we will be guided. These are the training principles of sports. S stands for specificity. P stands for progression. O stands for overload. R stands for reversibility. And letter T stands for train and maintain. And to add details, let us not forget the acronym FIT. F stands for frequency. I stands for intensity. T stands for time. And letter T stands for type. By using the principles of training as a framework, we can plan a personal training program that uses scientific principles to improve performance, skill, game ability, and physical fitness. Let us not forget your fitness pledge. With what you have discovered in your fitness testing results, it is just right to be responsible in making your body healthier and fitter. Have you started devoting time for your daily physical activities? Are the people around you inspired you to do the same? If your answer is yes, you're doing an excellent job. With that, let us continue to explore ways that will make our fitness journey enjoyable and rewarding. Let me introduce to you my fellow Hope teachers, Teacher Ador P. Layu from Santo Tomas High School and Teacher Jennifer Kudal from GD Mendoza National High School as we explore dance as a health enhancing physical activity. A blessed and fun filled day, Super K Teens! I am Teacher Ador and I am Teacher Jen and, and we, we will be your teachers for, for today. today. Fitness needs to be perceived as fun and engaging or else we will end up avoiding it. Today, I would say we will start an engaging physical activity that majority of people love to do and that is Dance! That's right, Teacher Ador! Who among us do not stop our feet? Or swing our body? When we hear a music that is pleasing to our ears? We humans probably danced even before there was a word for it. Rhythmic bodily movement is instinctive. A wide range of dance experiences can help us develop knowledge, attitude, motor and behavioral skills to be fit. Dance can be a response to the call of become health through a physical active life. That's true, Teacher Ador. As what the saying goes, you have not witnessed a real workout until you have watched a dancer practice. I couldn't agree with you more, Teacher Jen. 
you may have seen a 60 second dance routine in TikTok. That seems so easy, but I'm telling you, the story behind the routine is an hour or more of sweat-inducing practice. Although you may have already learned about dance in previous PE classes, informally through your peers, or even in your own, how many of these dances can you confidently engage in as a recreational pursuit? Integrating dance in your present lifestyle is not an easy task. You must have the motivation and discipline to do it. And that is the challenge. In this episode, we will start our discussion by identifying the nature of dance and how it can be a health-enhancing physical activity. We will also identify the elements of dance and the characteristic of a good dance to realize why dancers need to consider a lot of factors before, during, and even after the performance. We will also try to move and groove by applying what we have learned in our dance routines. Join me and Teacher Adore later as we start our journey in discovering dance as a health-enhancing physical activity. Dance is integral to life as wind or the ocean. It's man's way of keeping himself alive. And this saying is from Catherine Dunham. Dance can be seen in history as among the expressions of art of all the people and civilizations of the world. Dance has thrived in different periods of history, and mostly were a result of an intercultural exchange and contact. What is dance? Let me define it for you. The word dance comes from the German word dancen, which means to stretch or to travel. Dancing may be the oldest among all the arts. It developed as a natural expression of united feelings and actions. The music of early men came from stomping feet, clapping of hands, snapping of fingers, or any sounds that can produce rhythm. Dancing is an art that needs no instrument because the dancer's body is the instrument. It's an art of precise expression of one's emotions through graceful movement performed with musical accompaniment. Dance is considered as the mirror of the society because it responds to historical and religious events as well as social and political statements. Why do people continue to dance? Why do they love dancing? Any idea? That's right! We dance according to our reasons. Let me give you the purposes of dance in our lives. First, we consider dance as an art form. Dance is a fully-fledged art form belonging to the performing arts. A goal in itself and a means of allowing a human being to express his inner feelings, thoughts, and experiences. Dance is a natural form of self-expression. The body expresses itself naturally, and so, therefore, the spirit. Dance is also considered as an exercise. Dancing is a whole body workout that's fat. It's good for your heart. It makes you stronger, and it can help with balance and coordination. A 30-minute dance class between 130 and 250 calories about the same as jogging. That's right, teacher Adore. Dance also serves as a therapy. Dance therapy is very much in vogue these days, simply because the experience of dancing helps a person to heal from within. Well said, teacher Jen. Dance can also be an occupation. Dance is no longer just a hobby. It's also one of the most lucrative professions as well. Being a dance teacher allows you to remain active physically while sharing your knowledge with others. You can also remain creative through choreographing routines for a class and performances regularly. It helps to know which age group you want to teach, as some will require extra training or even college degrees. We also consider dance as a popular form of entertainment. Dance gives joy and satisfaction. 
it brings happiness both to the performer and even to the audience. People dance for all kinds of reasons. To mourn, to celebrate, to heal, to give thanks, to preserve cultural heritage and treasured legends, to demonstrate physical prowess, to assert individuality, and to provoke and to entertain. Almost anyone can dance, regardless of age or ability. And with that, we can say that dance is a great opportunity to build and optimize health. Later, let's try to discover the different elements of dance. So, stay tuned only here at Super K Tele Escuela. We are back, let me show you some pictures. Do you recognize all of these dances? Have you participated in any of these dance forms? If not, have you watched a dance performance? There are many different styles of dancing or creative movements from traditional, cultural dances to contemporary performance, from group dances to soul. There are many different styles of dancing or creative movements, from traditional cultural dances to contemporary performance, from group dances to solo. Despite this wide range, there are a handful of characteristics that these dance forms have in common. Body, action, space, time, and energy. These elements of dance are the foundational concept and vocabulary that help develop movement skills and understand the dance as an artistic practice. This framework is a way to discuss any kind of movements or dance performance. Dance is an art form of and by the human body. A dancer need not prepare a canvas, ink, paint, clay, wood, or metal. A dancer's medium of art are his or her arms, her legs, her head, and his torso. Dancers isolate some of his body parts to manipulate his entire body in creating lines, shapes, and forms. Bodily shapes refer to how the entire body is molded in space on the configuration of body parts. The body can be rounded, angular, or a combination of two. Other body shapes can be from wide to narrow and from high to low. They can be symmetrical and asymmetrical. Symmetrical is a balanced shape where movements are practically identical or similar on both sides. Asymmetrical, on the other hand, is an unbalanced shape. Movements of two different of the body do not match or completely different from each other. Any movements of the body while dancing is an action. Leaping, walking, hand gesture, facial expressions, even poses, and the rest are all distinct actions. Generally speaking, actions can be done in two ways. The body which is held in one place or in other words, the non-locomotor movements. Stretching, twisting, rotation, swaying, shaking, and twisting, pushing, and pulling are examples of the non-locomotor movements. When the body moves from one direction to another, we call those locomotor movements. Walking, running, leaping, skipping, galloping, jumping, hopping, and slides are example of the locomotor movements. Dancers interact within an occupied space in a variety of ways. Space refers to the occupied area of the performer where he, she can freely move. 
it can be divided into four different aspects, also known as spatial elements. And these are size, level, directions, and pulse. A dancer can occupy a lot of space with their bodies or movements, or just move in a small amount. Dancers can engage to space in different levels. It can be high, it can be medium, or low. Dancers' direction can be forward, backward, sideward, diagonals, circular, and so on. The lines in space may be straight, curved, or freeform. They may also face any direction while executing a single movement or several phrases. Every dancer's performance has a beginning and an end, so there's always an element of time involved in dance. Like music, dance has a structured rhythm and pulse. It can also be free-flowing and unpredictable. Another quality that all actions have is energy. Energy is the force applied to dance to accentuate the weight, attack, strength, and flow of the dancer's movement. Do the dancers move forcefully, gracefully, fluidly, or heavily? Energy also helps us identify the emotions and intentions attached to a dancer's actions. What kind of dancer or actions would you like to communicate if our movements are jerky? How about if the dancer movements are light and dirty? The next time you perform a dance or work out routine, you may try out some choreography of your own. Consider these five elements and how they all work together. Remember the word BASTE, which stands for B, body, A is for action, S is for space, T is for time, and E for energy. Being able to identify and understand the different aspects of dancing makes you more fluent in the language of dance. This will help you in communicating your body and your thoughts and even your emotions through movements. Later, when we return, we will be discussing the composition of dance and how dance display a significant meaning to convey a message. So don't go away, we'll be right back only here at Super K Telescuela. Have you ever tried watching a dance routine without understanding? What is happening in the performance? How have you completed a full dance show and will not even remember a thing or two about it? When a certain dance performance has poor choreography, it is difficult to be understood and appreciated. When a dance fails to communicate its intended meaning or if it does not have a meaning or significance at all, it becomes hard for the audience to grasp the content of the performance, how then can dance become a good dance? A good dance displays a significant meaning or convey a message. Sometimes, it also portrays life experiences. A good dance leaves and transport the audience from their seats during performance. It has a beginning, middle, and end or conclusion. The beginning of dance may come in form of shape, a pose, or an entrance. The middle consists of development or the exploration of the main idea. And the ending or conclusion should be clear and may be in the form of shape, a pose, or an exit. That's right, picture aboard. When we dance or watch a dance, we also have to look for the form of the dance. According to Lockhart in 1962, a form is the instrument by which ideas and elements are arranged or combined into a logical sequence, which results in unity and consistency, and utilizing which content or idea can be expressed or communicated. It is the organizing factor of any work or dance composition. The form should progress from the beginning of the dance to the end, 
Each section is composed of several units that are smoothly connected. These small units are what we call the phrases. What is a phrase? According to Blom and Chaplin, when you combine one movement with several others, they form a unit. When units are placed together, they make up a section in a choreography. And the sections together form a whole dance. Therefore, a phrase is the smallest unit of form in the whole dance. Although Minton suggested that movement phrases should vary in length and shape, most of the dances these days use equal length phrases. Commonly, a single phrase consists of eight counts. It is easier for building routines and choreographic combinations with an eight count phrase. A good dance also contains a theme or a motive to be able to convey the meaning or intentions to the audience. A dance without meaning makes it harder for the audience to understand, thus making it superficial and easy to forget. A single movement or a short phrase of movement that embodies the style and intention of the dance is called motif. A good dance uses a motif in which the movements are repeated, varied, and developed by manipulating the movement's components of an element. One good example of good motif is our traditional dance, Itik Itik. We can simply identify that dance motif is to portray the itik or the duckling as the dancers repeatedly imitate the movements of the itik. That's interesting feature of the work. Now let's proceed to the characteristics of a good dance. Like any superb tasting dish, dance can only be considered good if it has the right ingredients. Whether it has meaning, or may be presented abstractly, it must contain certain qualities that makes the choreography effective. These characteristics include unity, continuity, and development, variety and contrast, transition, repetition, and climax. Unity refers to the interconnected phrases of the dance. The movements must fit together and plays an important role that contributes to the entirety of the dance. Number two, continuity and development. This refers to the phrasing of the dance that are organized progressively, making each movement phrase move naturally into the next. Number three, variety and contrast. This highlights the facets of the motif. It adds excitement and flavor in the dance, changing direction, use of energy, timing of a movement phrase, and avoiding repetition in the exact way adds variety to the dance. Transition. This is the link between movements, phrases, and sections of the dance. It makes the logical progression of the dance flow smoothly. Also, it is vital because it keeps the unity and continuity of the dance. Number five, repetition. It emphasizes movement and phrases that are important to the dance and gives a feeling closure to a work. Some phrases need to be repeated in choreography so that the audience can see those movements again and identify its significance. Number six, climax. This is where the apex of energy in the dance is reached. It is similar to a climax in a story where a series of events culminates. All these characteristics are organized to contribute to the development of a meaningful dance. It is easier to recognize a good dance when all these characteristics have been applied on the choreography. As the author in dance choreography, Sarah Sarni Minton, said, All phrases in a work should be designed to form the integrated sections of your dance, and all the sections of the dance should be placed in a sequence that moves towards an appropriate conclusion. The development of the work should lead the audience logically from the beginning through the middle and on the end of the dance. Now, it's clear to us why dancers need time and effort to conceptualize, to practice, and to make their performance engaging and entertaining. Dance is not merely a movement. 
Dance is a form of communication. Dancing is one of the most liberating and open ways to express feelings. Communication is not limited to words only. As movement is an important factor in expressing ourselves. When we return, we will try exploring sound-based moves that we may use in creating our choreographed basic aerobic dance routine following the elements of dance. Gear up, wear your most comfortable clothes, get your bottle filled with water, and you are fine your space. Stay tuned here on Super K Telescuela. is one of the best exercises there is. Even though it follows patterns and guides, it can be done freely, moving every part of the body. Dance as a regular exercise brings many health benefits that can improve physical ailments, emotional distress, and release tension. Let's take a look at some of the health benefits of dancing. Every dance starts with a warm-up and stretching exercises that little by little help improve the body's flexibility. Many dance moves require bending and stretching which also aids flexibility just by dancing. Memory is actively exercised during aerobic exercises and choreographies through coordination and repetition of series. It's important to exercise the brain to prevent mental diseases and slow down aging consequences like memory loss and dementia. Using our bodies as weight, we exert a force of resistance that strengthens muscles and bones when dancing, jumping, and leaping in the air. Dancing liberates tension and combats depression. To move and perform any exercise produces endorphins and serotonin that are neurotransmitters associated with a sense of happiness and well-being. Dance is an aerobic cardiovascular exercise that helps in the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular diseases, helping lose weight at the same time. Dance requires to have a good posture and to do fast movements that will improve balance and spatial awareness. Dancing will boost your energy improve your well-being, help you get better, give you better self-esteem and self-confidence. Aerobic dance is a set of floor or land-based vigorous dance routines set to lively music. Aerobics now includes a wide range of movement from low and high impact as well as non-impact styles influenced by jazz, hip-hop, Latin American dances, modern dances, kickboxing, and other modern arts. Group exercises or fitness exercises is the popular term used to describe all the aerobic activities offered in a class or group setting. Aerobic dance consists of fundamental movements or base moves that includes the lower and upper band, as well as the combination of this for a full body workout routine. Base moves are a set of foundation movements that you can use, alter, and play around depending on the level of intensity you want for your dance fitness activity. The movements are divided into two categories, the lower body moves and the upper body moves. They are set into two types of counts, two counts moves and four counts moves. Let us not forget the fundamentals of physical activity. Check our pulse. As I signal go, count your pulse rate for 6 seconds. Once that, multiply your results by 10 to get your heart rate in a minute. Ready? Count! How is your pulse rate? If your pulse is quite higher, than normal monitor pace. Check your intensity. You may start from slow moving to moderate. Another reminder, go back to your parkour result. 
Make sure that your doctor approved tests these activities before doing so. Follow your instructor's routine. Don't modify the exercise unless instructed to do so for your health. Mistakes are okay as long as you try your best. It's not okay to tweak an exercise because you think you know better than your instructor. Number two, keep your personal hygiene in check. Wear clean clothes and deodorant, but avoid heavy perfume or cologne. Always bring a towel with you to class. Number three, mind your personal space. Number four, stay until the class ends. You'll benefit from cool down stretches. Show your respect for the instructor and heighten the sense of teamwork among your classmates. Number five, communicate with your instructor. Aerobic classes entail vigorous exercise of the cardiovascular system. Let your instructor know if you have health problems or injuries. Let me leave you in warm-up exercise. Stand up and follow me. your hamstring so that is the hamstring curl do that in four measures using the eight counts and one two 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 three two four two okay. next we will be doing the net the back let's do the knee lift step your right foot sideward lift your leg step your left lift your right do that for four measures and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's continue using the heel dig. Step your right foot sideward, dig your heel, step your left, dig your heel. Let's do that for eight measures or for four measures in eight counts. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Now, we will be doing the toe touch. Step your right foot, toe top, step and top, step and top, and step and top. Okay, let's do that for four measures again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, let's have the lunge. We will, be doing, we will be doing the lunge forward and then close or it may be sideward. Close, then right, and then close. And lastly, the jumping jacks. Everybody knows what jumping jack is. Let's have jumping jacks in four measures. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's have now the four counts. We're in, we will be counting one, two, three, four for every measure. So let's start with grapevine. Step right foot sideward, right. Cross left and rear. Step right and then close. Left side, cross and step and close. Okay. And we will also be doing the Charleston. Charleston step. Step right, left foot forward. Or let's step right foot forward. Kick left, step and close. Step, kick, step and close. Step, kick step and close. That is the Charleston step. And lastly, we will be doing the back step. Cross right, over left in front, cross left, over right in front, step right foot backward, and then close left to right. Let's do that in four measures. Ready? And one, two, three, and close, cross, cross, step, and close. Okay. Dance is not complete without using the upper body. Upper body moves are the non-locomotor movements that are partnered with lower body moves to perform a full body exercise. Let's identify some bilateral variation in our movements. Number one, clap in four measure or eight count sprints. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number two, bicep curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number three, Arm waves and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And number four, arm push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And number five, chest fly. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And number six, tricep push down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, let's try to combine some steps and apply the five elements of dance as we perform an aerobic exercise. Okay, so now we are ready to combine both our upper and lower body parts in creating an aerobic exercise. Let's do it with music. Music, please. Watch. Oh! 
that was indeed a sweat inducing exercise. Are you ready for the cool down? Let's do the cool down. questions to assess your understanding of the lessons. Show me a happy face if the statement is true. And show me a sad face if the statement is false. You are given 5 seconds to answer every item. Let me give you my first statement. Nowadays, dancing serves to be not just an art or exercise, but it has a greater impact in one's lives, such as a job opportunity. What's your answer? The answer is a happy face. Very good! You got it right! Let's have another question. In early years, dances were interpreted through birth, marriage, war, and even death. Mostly, dance reflects the livelihood and lifestyle of our ancestors. And the answer is... Good work! You did it again! How about this? The elements of dance includes body, action, space, time, and energy. Now, let's reveal the answer. Well done! You are listening. It is a sad face because aerobic exercise offers a wide range of aerobic activities and it can also be influenced by different dance genres. That was fun! Thank you for your active participation! How many happy faces have you collected? Bravo! That ends our sixth 
episode of our Health Optimizing Physical Education class for Senior High School. Thank you for accepting the challenge. Let's build a better version of ourselves by being more active and fit. See you again next week as we explore another episode of physical activity that will lead us to appreciate our cultural heritage and build an interest in health and fitness. Again, I am Teacher Justin saying, when you dance, your purpose is not to get a certain place on the floor, it is to enjoy each step along the way. Thank you, Super K Teens! Until our next episode, only here at Super K Telescuela. Super K! Super K! Telescuela!